Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, look at this now. It's FF episode 2166 And Mike Matthews, this show is called Mike's Daily Podcast. I am a podcaster. I've been podcasting for a long time, I think like over 10 years, and been in radio for a lot of that time. Over that, let's see, over 30 years. Wow. I'm old. And sometimes people pop up on my show because I have been told that there. Oh, we have a guest. Mike's Daily Podcast. Walk is creeping into Cafe Anyway. And let's put our hands together for Mike's Ken. Daily. What's going on, guys? Returning again. Podcast. Yay. Two in a row. Yeah. Can you hear yourself? I can. I can hear myself. That's good. I don't know why I want to hear myself. It's an ego thing. Uh, it, sure. I guess. <laughs> I was just listening to our episode from yesterday. Oh, that's right. That's when, what happened? I forgot what happened on that show. We talked about reality and the X-Files and, yeah, in New Jersey. Oh, yes. How are people embracing Mornings with Maria, a show I didn't really talk about too much on the last podcast. It's you talking to your mom. Yeah, we're a little on hiatus right now. I think that's going to be uh, talked about because the holidays were going on and we uh, didn't, we weren't able to like record anything. So no, yeah, no, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Okay. But well, we'll have a new episode uh, hopefully by this week. And Ken is talking to us from behind his, <laughs> as he touches the mic, boom, from Excuse behind me. his uh, mask. That's terrible. I know. I still really? got to wear it. Yeah. There we go. Cases are going up, Mike. Cases are going up. So. That's right. We're living in a world where cases are going up. And it's true. It's not a fantasy world where there's no such thing as coronavirus. Oh, wait. And here's today's Five podcast picture. picture. I think I'll put a picture from Half Moon Bay last week. Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. You need that as a sounder. Another one. That'd be good. Uh, another Half Moon Bay. Yes. Back in the 80s, Ken, because I'm much older than you. I'm an 80s baby. You're an 80s baby. 88. I actually paid money to see Cocktail. <laughs> it was with <laughs> Yo, I love that movie. Tom Cruise, yes, Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth Shue, yes, absolutely. Who, who else is that? Who is the British guy? Oh, um... You, if you can remember his name, oh, Basil. Hi, Basil. Hi. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I, I don't I remember. I can't think of the name of the British guy in Yes, but I can see his face. He had really nice, wavy, slick back hair. Yes. And it wasn't wet, which I appreciated. It was like, you know, nicely formed. British guy in cocktail. <laughs> and he dies at the end. Oh, oh, oh. Who, who was, Spoilers. Spoiler alert, excuse me. Who was the woman, the, the blonde woman that was with him, that was his wife? Remember? Uh, was that Elizabeth Shue? No, 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 no. The British guy. Uh-huh. Who was his wife? Who Tom okay. Cruise didn't believe it was his wife. Brian, Doug Coughlin. Yeah. I think was the British guy. Was it Lisa Baines? No. Played uh, Kelly Lynch? Kelly Lynch. Oh. Yeah. Gina Gershon was in it as well. I don't know who that is. And she was in, wasn't she in Bound? Mm. Or was that something else? All I remember is the Beach Boys went to number one because w- of that with a song from that soundtrack, Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, we were gonna do the song and you didn't take the high point. I couldn't do it. There. I couldn't think of it. Everybody had that soundtrack to show you how messed up the 80s were. Oh, my the, God. The other song on that album was, uh, there was a song from the Fabulous Thunderbirds. Not, ain't that tough enough. Yeah. <laughs> that's, when he's in the, that's when he's in the city trying to learn. 
Uh, there was a, a Ico 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 Ico. I see a thing in a bed at there. Ico Ico Ico. Was, was UB40 in that? Red River. No, but that was around that time. It yes. was around. It reminded UB40 me of that. 40 was getting popular. Yeah. Do you know I had eight downloads last week? <laughs> Let's go. The Grateful Eight. Actually, and then I used Spreaker, which Kevin, who used to sit in that very spot you're sitting in right there. Oh. He he trained me at the oh, job nice. that you and I are at. Cool. And now he works in the beer industry. Beer. Oh, that's right. But uh, he says he listens to the podcast on Spreaker. But I, I never get any downloads on that. I 12 downloads last week. That's all I got. And I think they were all from Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kev. Let's uh, give you some applause. That took a while for me to get to you. It did. Because <laughs> I was trying to do it, do it, and I couldn't. All right. Uh, what other interesting facts do I have since I dragged you in here? Um, the Justice Department found no widespread voting fraud. The Justice Department. Yes, the, the Supreme Court denied uh, Trump to overturn Pennsylvania. And Ellen DeGeneres is now Elliot DeGeneres. Wait, no. No, what? Ellen what? Page. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. What the no. what? Not Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Elliot Page. Uh, oh, and yeah, Sam Smith is not gender specific. Is that how you say it? Is he? He doesn't go he, by he, he, him, his? No. He's a they, they, they. His, they is they. Oh. Is what, okay, that will explain that. Dr. Octopus is returning. Wait. Yes. Alfred Molina? Yes. He's, he's coming co- back. No way. He's coming back. And so is Kirsten Dunst. And so is Andrew Garfield. And they're talking to Tobey Maguire. We're going to have a spider multiverse. My head just exploded. President Putin is extremely <laughs> strong and powerful. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. My head just blew up. <laughs> awesome. Wait, where's the explosion? <laughs> there it goes. There. <laughs> wow. I mean, when Trump talks about Putin. My head explodes. Ow, man. That's a lot of fire. <laughs> and fire cafe and brimstone. Anyway. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Mont. The last place on earth. Oh, and uh, fans of Ono and Beatles, bandmates mark 40th, 40 years since John Lennon died. Ooh. Wow, it was 40 years ago? Yes, I have a good story about that. I was actually listening to a recording of Frank Gifford and uh, Howard Cosell. Because it was the it was the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots where they broke the news. And hold on, Mike, I my head is blowing up again. They actually there's there's a um, before they went live. Howard Cosell was like, "Listen, uh, how, should I break this?" And Frank oh. Gifford was like, "Yeah, I think you have to. Like, you need to break the story." He goes, "He goes, all right. Well, you're gonna call this one play, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna break the story." And so they broke it. Do you know I was a little kid and I was in bed. And I was trying to go to sleep. Well, I was 10 years old, I guess. Oh, 10-year-old Mike. No, 12. 12-year-old Mike. All right, so I was 12-year-old Mike. I remember my parents... Well, actually, no. It was my mom had been divorced at that point. So she was with uh, the second husband, although they weren't married yet. All this backstory for nothing. (laughs) At, At any rate, Rod was his name. So Rod, the second husband, he loved Monday night football. It happened on a Monday night, right? Yes, it did. So... Monday Night Football is happening, and I I could hear the screams, and it it would lull me to sleep. You know, everybody doing the whole the whistle sound, you know, (laughs) smashing into each other, (laughs) all that stuff. And I'm hearing that, and then I hear Howard Cosell say, uh, "I have some really sad news to tell you tonight, and that is a great man, very creative genius." A very, I forget how he set it up, but he said, yeah. it was very kind words. You know, yeah. John Lennon has passed away. Do you know, I was so clueless at 12 years old, I had no idea who John Lennon was. Well, I knew who the Beatles were, but I had no idea he was a Beatle or anything. And then my mom and uh, Rod were like, oh, okay. They didn't listen to the Beatles. They could care less. Wait, my, really? My mom was a Simon and Garfunkel fan, though. Oh, uh... Uh, hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to you again. Which is interesting because they were influenced by the Beatles and vice versa. So, right. All that to say, that's what I remember. Was that her favorite movie or something? The Graduate. 
No. That was the whole album from Simon and Garfunkel. No. Uh, well, no. She had Bridge Over Troubled Water, which was not, oh. which was totally New York. That album Very. because it's it's got the song. Uh, oh. All Frank, you. There's a Frank Lloyd Wright a song called Frank Lloyd Wright on it. Oh, the What's famous the architect. Yeah. And then it took the uh, song from Peru, I think. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, I would. Okay. I, I, Simon I, and know, Garfunkel. I wasn't a big Simon and Garfunkel fan. You're a big Paul Simon fan, though, because you love. Not re- you, know uh, what's, you know what's really bad? I saw he was, he was headlined at Outside Lands last year, and. Me and my lovely lady friend, we kind of left a little early. Oh, you didn't want to see it? Not that we didn't want it. We just like, ah, I don't really. Yeah, yeah I guess we didn't want to see it. <laughs> I guess you're right. I didn't he, really he, it. He's a very clever songwriter. Someday you will learn to appreciate some of the stuff that he just oh, wrote on his own. No, I agree. I mean, you, you can call me Alf. I mean, that's a, that's a 80s you know hit. Chevy yes, Chase. call me Alf. Call the me alien. Alf. <laughs> the, the alien. A, uh, 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 what is it? Alien life form, ALF. That's what right. ALF stands for. Wait, Garfunkel did the music to Watership Down, which was a cartoon that I have never seen, but it influenced a lot of people my age and older. It was a cartoon that was like very dark, and it's like these little animals, these little bunnies and stuff killing each other. Man, you're but, really... I'm just like... I feel so young. Art Garfunkel did the music to that, but Paul Simon wrote a lot of great songs, including... Uh, just pick up but the oh, yeah, big yeah. new plan stand. 50 new ways Don't to leave to your be, lover? Uh-huh. 50 new ways to leave your lover. Love yeah, that's good. And, uh... Stick out the back, Jack. Jack. <laughs> that's it. That's right. Uh, slip slide in a way. You know, the near your destination, the more you slip slide. Or Kodachrome. Oh, yeah, Give yeah. us the light for our colors. Oh. Yes, that's right. But none of those songs were on Cocktail. <laughs> That's uh, that's very true. Wah, wah. Wait, Kelly Lynch? She's not the same lady from... Uh, I used to get her and Kim Basinger mixed up. Who's the Lynch I'm thinking of from Glee? Oh, Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. Okay. Kelly Lynch was in that movie with Jim Belushi and Curly Sue. Remember the movie Curly Sue? <gasps> oh, wow. She was in the movie Curly Sue. Her and Jim Belushi and that girl. I don't even know her name. Curly Sue, I guess. Yeah, what was... I don't even know her name. Well, people can tell us what happened to her, because I'm not going to look it up. 336-MM Daily, 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews Daily is not what this podcast tries to be. The Social Dilemma is another movie I wanted to mention real quickly, because you and I were discussing it. It's not the one, the Burning Man one. That right. one is hacked, uh, hacking something, hacky sack. I forget the name of that. Gene Hackman. That's what it's called, Gene Hackman. <laughs> it's with the woman that goes to Burning Man, and then you find out that she was the one that helped the Republicans uh, win the 2016 election, which people deny that happened because that, that it couldn't have happened on Facebook. And but that, anywho, so a different that, movie. It's different from the social dilemma. The social dilemma has a bunch of people telling you turn off your notifications yeah, at the end. That's on Netflix, right? Yeah. Plug. Why does Netflix do all these movies that tell you that are very anti-Mark Zuckerberg? I don't know. There's an agenda. (laughs) So I just wanted to bring that. I watched that last week, and I told you I saw that other uh, movie with the... Is it the Aborigines? The Indigenous Peoples of Australia. Yes. Trying to sing in Vietnam. It's called The Sapphires. Oh, yeah, the guy you said from, um, not Mighty Boosh, but the other guy. Uh, yeah, he's the guy from... IT Crowd. Pirate, IT Crowd, Pirate Radio. And... And keep going. And keep going. <laughs> and and there was the other one with the... He was in Bridesmaids. Bridesmaids, thank you. Scottish, Irish guy we don't know. Not confirmed. Well... That's pretty much all I had for today. Did you want to drop in anything in the podcast for um, Mike's Daily Podcast today? Thank you for being on. Listen to his show called Mornings with Maria. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Find us on all platforms or wherever you stream and stuff. Look, look who's here. Who's here? Oh, my God. This is Kelly Stewart, good chef supervisor. Oh, how's it going there? What's going on? What, what's, Ken? Up? what's up, Shelly? How are you? I'm okay. It's like I got a bunch of snow globes. Oh, you still have selling. The, are you still selling the snow globes? A bunch of snow globes. How many did you sell so far? None. 
Oh, well, you know, the holidays are coming around. I mean, they're, they're here now, so maybe for Christmas? I want to sell everyone in the world a snow globe. Okay. Well, I hope you get to that. They're $20 each. Oh. Wow, that's steep. That is steep. Yeah, Shelly, you entrepreneur, you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mike Matthew. Look who else is here. Oh, my this is Floyd the Floor Man. Uh. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Do you have a problem with Floyd, Ken? Mm-mm. Yes, he is my least favorite. But you're okay, John. Thank you. What's wrong with me? I, oh, ah, you're just so loud. That escalated quickly. And you're so high-pitched. I can't help it. Sorry. You need to work on your cadence. I don't have a high voice. My voice is not... Okay, maybe it's a little bit high. <laughs> it's all right. That is not appropriate behavior, okay? All right, so... I'm glad we worked that out. Uh, next show will be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Nice. Ken, thank you for stopping by again. I don't know if I can do one tomorrow because we've got that fundraiser. Oh, we've yeah. We've got that donor campaign. You know what the fun thing about fundraisers are is that they're fun. <laughs> Maybe we'll get free pizza again. Yes. We got free pizza today. We did. We got free pizza today. Pizza bought it. Oh, it's going right to my waist. It's a carb <laughs> overload. Carb loading. Everybody, make sure you don't eat pizza this holiday season. <laughs> make sure that you... That's my little health tip for today. Or you'll build a tire around your waist. If you want a tire around your waist, and you're happy with that attire, then do so. But I say, go for a walk. Listen to some Paul Simon while you're walking. Hug your kids. <laughs> Love your family. <laughs> Kiss your wife. <laughs> Don't smoke dope. It's overrated. Don't drink. It's doubly overrated. Or kiss whatever it is that you're in love with. You know, maybe <laughs> Ellen Elliot Page. Or Sam, Sammy, Samantha Smith. Whatever it is you love. <laughs> Love that. You gotta love the people that you love. But don't love the pizza. It'll only do bad things for you. Is that okay? Is that a good way to end the show? I didn't know you were gonna do that. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.